Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can install FileZilla and how you can connect to a server using FTP and how you can download and upload files to the server. So first, go to this URL. You can click on the link in the description and you can go to this URL here. Now, click on this FileZilla client, not this, this one. We need the download FileZilla client. Click on this and now click on download FileZilla client. So we want this one for now. Click the first download and your download is starting. Once the download is complete, you can double click on the file or just click open file to open your installer. So as you can see, the wizard of installation has started. Now click on I agree. And this is an offer. You don't need to do anything here. Just click on decline and click next. Now you can only install for yourself or the current user or you can install for anyone who uses this computer. So I just click on anyone who uses this computer, click next and click next again. And this is where your FileZilla client will be installed. If you don't have storage available in your C drive, you can just click on browse and you can choose any other directory from here. But for now, I'll just leave it as the default directory and click next and hit install. And finally your installation will start. Once the install is complete, you can keep this checked and click finish. And FileZilla will start. So FileZilla has now opened. Just click on OK and in host, enter your host name here, your username, your password and port. So let's say the host is this and you enter your FTP username. This has to be provided by the server or FTP server provider. So the username given to me is FTP, FTP user and the password is FTP user2 and the port is 21. So these have to be provided by the FTP server to you. Now click on quick connect and I'll save the password so that I don't have to enter the password again. Click on OK and now click OK again. So as you can see, it is giving me the message directory listing of FTP user is successful. And right now, this is what we have inside our remote site. This is the remote site and this is the local site. So it is empty. There is nothing inside this. Now I can upload files from my local site here by just dragging and dropping. Let's say I want, I'll upload something here. Okay, so let's say I want to upload this file. Now this is the directory listing and these are the files. So I can just drag and drop these files here. So this FTP user folder in the server do not have write privileges or the user that I logged in as does not have permission to write here but this is how you can just upload files from local to your server this is one way of directly connecting to a site quickly let's say you want to connect to the site again and again and entering these every time can be quite hectic so what you can do is click on file click on site manager and here you can create a new site so click on site and let's call it we test and here you enter the details, port number, the user, and the password. And click OK. And from the next time, you can just click on File, Site Manager, and you can just choose this and click on Connect. And as you can see, it will start connecting to your FTP server. Right now, the server is closed, so it is not connecting. And yeah, this is how you can save a connection for later. And we've shown you how you can upload files from local to your remote server. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.